I created this video in order to aid the use of the PID charting tool. The first step should be to go to www.ford-trucks.com Go to the upper left hand corner to the drop down menu that says forums. Go to the diesel section and then to the 1999 to 2003 7.3 liter power stroke diesel section. Once there, there is a sticky thread labeled PID charting tool. You will need to click on that. Once the page loads, there is a quick description on why some FTEers felt this tool was needed. Scroll to the bottom of the first post and you will need to download at least the PID charting tool instructions PDF file and the PID charting tool which is an Excel file. The sample TP log-1 and the sample TP log are optional. I recommend opening the instructions and having a look through the introduction, the PID charting tool setup, a brief overview on how to use the PID charting tool, some examples of what the charts will look like, and how to customize and navigate through the charts. Now that you have read over the instructions and seen a bit of the video, you are ready to start viewing your PID log data. Open the CSV file that you have previously logged with your application of choice. Click anywhere in the document, push Control A to select all data, push Control C to copy all data. Now open the PID charting tool Excel spreadsheet. Click in box A1 and press Control V to paste the previously copied data. Now go to the bottom of the window and select the chart tab. The first six PIDs will be charted as seen here. You will see the name of the PID and the color coded trace labeled on the left. The value is on the vertical axis and the timeline is on the horizontal axis. When different PIDs are desired to be charted than what are shown, simply right click on the chart, go to select data, and in the left hand box, check or uncheck the desired PIDs to be charted. Only two PIDs can be charted per chart. Once the applicable PIDs have been selected, click the OK box and the chart will update. Move the pointer or cursor over specific trace points in order to get the exact value as seen here. If new log data or different log data is now desired, simply click on the three dots at the bottom left to go back to the PID CSV tab, hit Control A, then delete to remove all of the data. Open the other PID log data file as seen here. Only 10 PIDs can be copied into the chart at any one time. More than 10 PIDs have been logged. Simply select the PIDs you wish to chart as seen here. Copy and paste those PIDs back into the PID CSV tab of the PID charting tool. Press the chart tab and the logged PIDs will be shown in the charts. Occasionally, a PID log application will insert values of zero into the log data, as seen in this top chart. Simply right click on the chart, go to select data in the left hand box, find the zero that is checked and uncheck it. If another PID is desired in that chart, simply check that box and hit OK. If only two charts or even one chart are desired, simply right click on that chart, go to select data, uncheck all the boxes in the left hand window and click OK. If you wish for the chart to return because you have more PIDs that you want to chart, simply right click where the chart was at, go to select data and in the left window, 
check the PIDs you wish to chart and press OK. The chart will reappear as seen here. Once you have finished charting all your log data, you can simply save the spreadsheet as a workbook for future reference. And that is it. Now you have a way to view your PID log data easily for troubleshooting and learning purposes.